We're going. What kind of person is most likely to have some fugazi steppers on their toes? What defines authentic drip versus a sort of copycat imitator style? The person themselves. I mean, you can you can express yourself through drip, the way that they walk, the way that they, they talk. How did you develop your drip? Were you born drippy? Every day is a new type of drip. It's one of one. Every day you wake up, you go out and drip like that. You know what I mean? Find some shoes, find some Ricks, some Doc Martens. Is it? Yeah, I said on this platform because I hate Ludwig and Saikuno. <laughs> Easy season? I mean, when is it not? Well, if it was easy season all the time, then it wouldn't be a season. That's true. You got the questions on deck. Do you think there's going to be any rappers? If they got drip, they're going to be here. Who's your favorite rapper? The NBA Young Sauce Boy. So you don't fuck with Lil Durk then? Fuck Lil Durk. He ain't slide for Vaughn. Bro's dead. That was his homie. He ain't slide. What is Dude, I love this. This is exactly, this is just nailing exactly everything I hate about like rap music fans, by the way. Yeah, I hate Lil Durk. He ain't slide for Vaughn. It's like the most Naperville motherfucker I've ever seen, bro. I swear to God. Like, this dude is so Naperville, you know he lives in a fucking six-bedroom house, okay? He ain't slap for Vaughn. It's like, bro, what do you mean? Like, why do you just want black people to just fucking die for no reason? Just so you can generalize this, all rap music fans? Bro, there is such a fucking classic stereotype sneakerhead white kid from Naperville that says he's from Chicago that says shit like, he ain't slap for Vaughn. Yo, little Dirk sucks. He ain't slap for Vaughn. These are literally the jokes you make, lol. Yeah, when I'm making jokes, I'm being sarcastic. What is he doing? You murder the, the dude who noodle knocked your big, big bro. <laughs> you got no fun. You got no one tells me that. The BTS. <laughs> the All right, we're here at Sneaker Con. Lil Dirk probably won't be here. I hope they have Galaxy Foams up in here. You want some These kids dress like you think you look? What do you mean? Galaxy foams. He's been stuck in 2012, bro. Well, here we are. We're almost there. Sneaker Con, Anaheim, where? California. Anaheim, California. Home of Disney and. <sighs> Give me one sec. Who do you think has more sneakers? Uh, Lil Dirk or NBA Youngboy? NBA Youngboy. How come? Because he's got drip compared to Lil Dirk. Oh, shit. I've heard of him. Okay, first of all, Lil Durk literally did a fucking, like, Celine show. What the fuck is up with these dudes, man? NBA young boy, like, yeah, he's he's fine. But, like, also, like, the idea that, like, Lil Durk does not have drip is... is why am I debating this shit? Who cares? All right, let's... I don't know why you wasting your energy getting mad. I just finished eating. About to get some hair relaxed. You took your chick to the woods near the farm. Where I'm hoping my chick outside getting mosquito bits on my arm. My name is Austin. People know me as Ass Pizza. Uh, I make clothes. Why do they call you Ass Pizza? That's just uh, my Instagram name that I have for a long time, and now I'm just. We didn't actually see the fucking full video. Shut the fuck up. Oh my god, this is just a fucking. We saw the promo of the fucking video, not the full video. Shut the fuck up. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Stuck with it for life. Did you cop any drip in there? Absolutely not. There's no drip in there. A lot of corny shit in there. We only saw like a three minute snippet of it, okay? We didn't see the full right. thing, okay? Do you want to stop? So we don't have to watch this. Y'all are being hella annoying. Up, do you guys get any shoes? Yeah, uh, yeah, we did. Okay, what's your favorite? Here, I'll Way skip the parts. Under. Alas, those days are long I'll gone. I'll skip the fucking parts that we saw already. On and in their place, a culture where high-priced kicks mean status, power, and sometimes even big-time bucks. What's up, G's? Go, bro. Do you guys get any shoes? Yeah, uh, yeah, we did. Okay, what's your favorite shoes that you got? Uh, probably the off-white lot dunks. What do you guys think of my uh, avias? I was about to say, those might be the worst shoes out right now. Donald Trump, 2024. I'm Art for Abstracts. I'm coming out this year as an artist. I got signed by the same company that owns Pablo Picasso's estate. Do you fuck with uh, Van Gogh? Yeah, I definitely do. It's my art. This is for dabs. You scoop it and then you put it in the banger while it's hot and then you dab. Oh my god, there's so many sneakers in here. It's crazy. Okay, this kind of looks sick. Yeah, this actually is kind of crazy. It smells like taco. <laughs> Alright, where are we at right now, guys? Sneaker Con Los Angeles. Is there any kind of shoe you guys would just never wear? The J Balvin Jordans. You don't like J Balvin? Nah. What, what grade are you guys in? Uh, seven. What do you want to be when you grow up? Either a porn star or, a, or like a professional like race car driver. You want to spit a few bars? Alright. This is a diss track on my homie Zach. I'm about to bounce back. You look like a robot shirt back. Hey, got a book cut in the back. Hey, you look like a rat. Hey, you're silly and whack. Hey. That's a diss song to your friend Zach? Yeah, Z-A-T-C-H spelled Zach. 
Why don't you like Zach? Grandpa Holic. Nice guy, but he roasted me. Okay, damn. Yeah, yeah fuck Zach, dude. We before. hate him. No. All right, guys. Well, thank you for coming to SneakerCon. Thank you for really sharing your project with us and educating people today on like what NFTs are because it's so new. There's so many little you know, scams and things happening. Like, oh my god. Here, right? It's the foundation of a new type of culture. Making a black man see this is racist? Well, welcome to America, okay? <laughs> White supremacy is everywhere, okay? Look alive. Look out! <laughs> of course they're talking about NFTs, by the way. Absolutely. Drip or drown? Drip. Why? This drip is Bro, this is literally the Aiden Ross con, by the way. This isn't a sneaker con. This is Aiden Ross con. Every single one is an Aiden Ross head. You know. Black shadows need to unionize. White people should have to walk barefoot for this. <laughs> Thank you. I saw a pedophile nearby. Where? I don't know, but I think he's over there. Oh, I need to go kill him. What's your preferred way of execution? Look, I, it ain't my job to do it, but somebody else got to do it. What's your favorite kind of shoes? Jordan. You guys run this shit. Okay. What? Wait, I'm confused. I'm confused at what's going on. Okay. Oh, you got some okay. nice shoes on today. He's got, uh, I like those, I do. Bro. This is like the Ultra Dad shoe. Yeah. There are a lot of shoes yeah. that have taken form over the last few years that got their soul from this shoe right here. You could probably trade the your Kirkland ABS 7s, all. right? Those, aren't those the Kirklands? All the way up to a Galaxy foam here. How? You have to trade. You have to so where would I begin my trade journey? Uh, the trading pit. Trading pit. The trading pit, those guys are willing to wheel and deal. So I think you could take those off, wheel and deal for something else, and then just keep working your way up around. No, I think those are, uh, I, I think they're the Kirklands. Maybe they're Walmart, but I didn't lit. even know fucking Sam's Club made uh, like, a, like a Kirkland special version of this. In the pit. I'm about to fuck to a cash up on Sam's Club. Uh, what can you trade me for these avias? Peep game. Oh, he said avias? You don't fuck with these ones? I'm good. I'm good. Is that Supreme? Costco. I'll do a sticker, that's it. A sticker? Yeah. Actually, yeah, sure. Yeah, that's cool. A shirt? Yeah. What shirt do we got going? Make them say, ah. Uh. You down to trade? Yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. Are you serious? Yeah. What's your name, bro? Brian. Brian. Andrew. Good to meet you, dog. What do you think of that trade? That trade was impressive. He went for it. I loved it. So what comes next? You need some new shoes or 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 you can walk like that. Let's go find somebody who will take a trade. So check it out. I have this uh, vintage like Master P shirt from the late 90s, New Orleans Master P. No this is brilliant. This is fucking, this would have been great to do IRL, by the way. Holy shit. I should have done that. I missed the opportunity. Carter, he traded it for his shoes. He don't got shoes no more. What do we got the booth? Who needs shoes at sneaker con anyway? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? We keep most of our shit at the booth. So what's it like growing up in Boise? I feel like I had a different part of Boise that everyone else had. I was doing some stupid ass shit when I was a kid. I did my time for what I did. And uh, now we're just switching, just running into business with my boy Carter over here. What's jail like in Idaho? The guards treat you like shit, bro. Like, they don't give a fuck about you at all. So you just have to like, you just have to deal with it. Put your head down and like try to get out of it. Did you have to click up? With, like, also, I would have never had people, I would have never had fans come up to me here straight up. This is completely outside of my fucking realm, dude. Sneakerhead culture is like, they, they don't know me. They know Aiden Ross. The Woods or the AB? I kind of kicked it outside my race. I don't like racism, you know? I actually got like shit on by some of the, the brothers. Yo, you know, if you just played the ad, it would probably be over by the time you're done explaining the ads. Just saying, damn, bro. That's crazy. But as Reese's Pieces also pointed out, we literally fucking voted. And chat was like, no, we want the segues. I couldn't kick it with the white boys because I kick it with like the brothers and then the the Serenios, you feel me? What are you gonna trade them, mom? What you got? Are you really doing this? I got oh shit! Yo, those are fire. I got what you the on the fuck? shirt, even though it's not vintage. No, Damn, please. thank you, bro. I appreciate that. Six. So what are these? Signal Orange yeah. Jordan One mid. Bro, that's insane. Those are fire. Yeah. Oh. They're like patent. They came out pretty recently. Good. I appreciate it. Thank you, bro. Bro, he just literally gave him like two hundred dollars shoes. I know it says one hundred fifty-eight on StockX, but like. I mean, I, I'm not a big fan of the mids, even though I bought those mids in um, their mid mids. No, I just love the man. I love the colorway. OK. And what's your Instagram, by the way, bro? Uh, we're Boise Barter Market. Started off with Jan Sports and now Mayor Jordan and Cash App.
the best way to financially facilitate the exchange and sale of secondhand shoes at the sneaker convention in Anaheim. But if you thought Cash App was just a peer-to-peer -peer money sending service, you're dead wrong. It's actually a great way to invest in stocks and cryptocurrency. And by using code CHANNEL5, you can get a free 15 bucks for new users. So like, how much do these go for? Um, I think you just came up crazy, like 160. 160 bucks for these? 160 bucks, brand new. Don't put no feet in them. Hey, you guys, you guys fucking with these? Oh shit, another oh, piece? How's everything going? Things are going well. I'm standing outside. I'm showing people my art. Somebody gave me a box of free Yeezys. Hell yeah. Well, whoop, whoop, whoop. I just got some new shoes. I lost my shoes, but I'm wondering if you would be willing to trade uh, a painting for a pair of Air Jordans. For a pair of Air Jordans? Yeah. Yes. So maybe you like the big one? Yeah, definitely. The big one. Really? I was going to give this to his police outside. This yeah. is sick as hell. How would you describe the style? I would describe the style as um, an explosion of emotions Silent but very vibrant. You won't fucking take those back and then trade them. Hell yeah, it is. Well, yeah, I mean these Jordans are pretty pretty big. Okay. She's gonna break her ankle, bro. What the fuck? Investopedia. Fine art can be an investment. <laughs>